you're welcome to my channel in this tutorial we are told that using the angles of 45 degree and 60 degree set square as basis construct the angles that is seven and a half degree by bisection now we are constructing angle that's seven and a half degree the first thing you do that like i said earlier you draw a line this way you can see that and this point should be a here should be b so what you should do is that's seven you have fold between two angle and that is 45 and what and 30 so you need to construct 45 and 30 so how are you going to do that using your set square we know very well that this is set square for what 45 degree when you place it on your what on your t square so if I move it to that point, A, I'm going to draw an inclined line this way, front line. You can see that? That is um, 45. Let me just write it here, 45 degree. And we need 30. So when I take my 60 and 30 degree set square, we know when it is sitting down this way. When it's sitting down this way, it is what? This is this inclined side is called 30 degrees. I'm going to move it and uh, we draw an inclined line again from that point this way. And this is my angle what? Angle 30 degree. Right? So now the next thing you should be doing here is that in between 30 and 45 is 15 degree. Right? That means the angle between these two points here is what 15 degree. Don't forget. The horizontal line is always zero degree. We're moving anti-clockwise. Now I'm going to bisect the difference between 30 and 45 is 15. So if I bisect 15, mean I'm divide, dividing 15 by 2, that'll give us what? Seven and a half. So uh, what I'll do, I'll bisect it, I'll draw an arc that'll, that will cut my 45 degree, I'll call it A prime, and I'll cut my 30 degree, I'll call it A prime prime. And if I want to bisect it with any given radius, Place it at point A prime prime, strike an arc. Place it at point A prime, also strike another arc. So where they meet will be seven and a half. And seven and a half plus seven and a half plus um thirty will give you thirty seven and a half. So let me say this this point where they meet is called point C. So I'm going to place it this way. And I'm going to draw an arc this way. I mean a straight line passing through C from A. And this line you're saying is for seven and a half. So 30 plus seven um seven will give you 37 and a half degree. And if you have to use a compass to construct, I'll just place it here. I'll draw an, the same arc here, a same straight line again this way. And I'm going to call this point point A and what point B. We know very well that. If I place my compass at any given radius from point A, I'm going to draw an arc this way that will cut AB. Where it cuts AB, I'm going to call it A prime. Now, with the same radius that it cuts AB, I'll place it at A prime, right? And I'm going to strike an arc. Where I strike that arc, I'll call it point C. That point C. I'm going to use my metal rule to draw a line from point A passing through what? Point C. This way. So that line we're drawing is angle 60 degree. But we actually need 37 and a half, which we're trying to construct here. So if I do that, if I bisect 60, I'll have 30. So I'll place my compass at A prime at any given radius. I can increase if I want to. I'm going to draw an arc this way. I'll place it at point C. I'm going to draw another arc this way. So where they meet, I'll call it point D. So I'll draw a line from point A passing through point D. Right? So if I do that, I'll draw my faint line. So that line I draw in between, this is 0 degree. Then this area is what? It's 30 degree because I bisected what? 60 degree. Now, what I actually need again is 45 because... That's seven and a half four in between 45 and what and 30. So I need what 45 degree. Is that okay now? 
So what I'll do, I need to construct my 45 degree. So to save our time, I should just extend this line A towards this direction. You can see that. And I'm going to complete this semicircle. Just get it to that point to just save our time. We have this this way. You can see that. So where it cuts here, I'm going to call it what? A prime prime. You can see that. Now I'll take my compass at any given radius. I can extend it. I'll place it at A prime. I'll strike an arc. I'll place it at A prime prime. I'll also strike another arc. So where they meet, I'll call it that point what? Point E. Now I'll draw a line that will pass that will, that will pass through E from point A. And I'll be having this faint line first of all to get 90. Because without 90, I cannot get 45. So where it cuts this point here, I'll call it point what? Point F. Now we know F and A, the angle between F and A is 90. That is a perpendicular line. You can see that. So I'm going to bisect between F and A. So if I do that, I'll place my compass at A prime. I'll strike an arc. I'll place it at point F also. I'll also strike another arc. So when they meet, I'll call it point what? Point arrow. So draw a line from point A passing through point arrow this way. This is what we have here. Faint line. So the angle in between um 60, in between 90 and 30, in between, 90, in between F and A prime is what? It's 45 degree. So this is my 45 here degree. Now I know very well that if you subtract 35 from 40, 30 from 45, you'll be having what? 15 degree, right? So let's just call this point that they intersect that inclined line. Let's call it point what? I'll call it point, let's see, M and what? And N. The reason I'm using all this is for you to understand what I'm trying to talk about. So point M and N. So I know if I buy set 15, I'll be having 7 and a half. So I'll place my compass at N at any given radius. I'll strike an arc. I'll place it at M at any given radius. I'll strike another arc. So where they meet, I'll call it point Z. Right? So draw a line that will pass through point Z from point A. Right? And that will give me 7.5. And, a and uh, this is my 7.5. So 30 plus 7.5 will give you 37 and a half degree. So the angle in between this point and this point here is giving us what? As 37 and a half degree. 37.5 or 37 and a half degree, which is the same thing as this point here, too. Like this 37 and a half degree. 37 and a half degree. Is that the key? If you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Thanks for watching.